Good morning. I greet you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I hope, guys, you are doing well. Bless you, my brother and sister in Christ. Thank you so much for watching our live broadcast. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much to Dr. Julie and all the family for leading us into a beautiful worship. And thank you so much. The worship was absolutely powerful. And we just bless God. And I just want to say thank you so much uh, to Judah Worship Center. We welcome you. Um, dear beloved family, I usually don't like to be online on Facebook, on live on Facebook, but thank you family for all your great encouragement. So as we know that we all going through something and during, um, during this pandemic, COVID-19, everybody is going through something and Holy Spirit was um, ministering to me about a lot of things but something was very came important that he was um it was coming up in my heart and stirring up in in my spirit that which wise you are heading today my topic is about which wise you are heading where a lot of things are happening around the world some are positive and some are negatives where the revival is taking place their enemy is also busy to try to manipulate people people are going through a lot some some people lost their loved one lost their job and it's much more uh, during this time some family became very close and some family um, went further apart from each other because a lot of destruction took place. There's a lot of online services happening and you know, because we're not going anymore in church. So we, we, we using um, Facebook and we want to watch and we want to just see every person that is online and on live and preaching, you know. Um, so it's a lot of things are happening and people because the people are going through a lot of pain They are going through a lot of struggle. They are going through a lot of hurts, you know and the sickness and like they are they are very desperate to get the prophetic words and they are very Desperate to just they if you see on Facebook nowadays, everybody want to become a prophet if it's a lot of things happening on social media forgive me forgive me but it breaks my heart to see that how our people blindly um, accepting everything they blindly follow those false prophets you know and because they are so desperate they are being so hurt and they just want to hear an encouragement word so I I also had a recently uh, a incident and uh, my one of um, a Facebook friends she she sent me a message and she told me about one of prophet that um, she had encounter with one of prophet and one of prophet, prophet uh, um, sent her a message and told her that her um, her sister um, is against her her sister is jealous of her her sister is doing witchcraft and she was telling me she was crying me and telling me how come um, my sister is doing this against me and how come she's doing this witchcraft because of her I'm now going through this problem and she was saying a lot of things and and then she and then I was very curious I was listening to her there was she's uh, telling me about that prophet that that told her and tried to bring division between two sisters so I just stopped her and I, I asked her the questions and I said um, do you love your sister still do, do, do you still talk to her um, do you still have that relationship um, and um, do, do, do you grew up like did you grew, did you grow up with your sister or with the prophet so she said yes I have I since that prophet told me 
Since that prophet told me I don't like to talk with my sister. Since that prophet told me I don't have that kind of love or relationship with my sister because I'm going through a lot and she's not sending me message and this and that. So I ask her, did you grow up with the prophet or with your sister? Are you both from the same parents? And she would say, no, but my sister, the prophet told my sister is not only jealous of me, but also she's jealous of my children. So I said, one minute, you and your sister grew up together. You are from same parents. You and your sister know each other more than anybody else. And let me tell you, my sister, God will not bring a division between a family because God loves your God's love unity and he loves you he loves your sister imagine if your sister hear about this thing that that prophet told her uh, the prophet told you about this thing it's gonna tear her apart it's gonna broke her completely and the and the Bible say first Peter 4 8 above all love each other deeply i'm gonna read it again above all love each other deeply because love covers our uh, multitude of sins amen and and i told her if you think your sister is not on the right path you gotta pray for her because if you love her you will try to cover her sin and if that prophet is trying you mustn't feel that you have to break your relationship with your sister in God's sights family matters and the people who say your family is against you shut those voices because that is not from God those voices that tell you your parents don't love you shut those voices that you are not enough shut those voices that trying to put hate in you in your heart and bringing division in your family shut those voices because that voices are not from God God is love and his desire is for us to live in love Psalm 133 how good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity hallelujah amen we find a lot of scripture about reconciliation we find a lot of scripture about love we find a lot of scripture about unity god's love the family and he wants the family to be united and if somebody falls coming i will say not a false prophet but i will tell them they are fake news if they come in your life and tell you about that your parents say to you my brother and sister whoever is watching me I want to tell you that you need to reconcile God loves and the word of God say honor your parents honor your father and mother hallelujah so I want you to I want you to pay attention be aware be careful which voice you are hearing is this from God is this from enemy because enemy is trying to kill the family enemy is trying to bring the division enemy is trying to kill our peace to steal our joy so we need to be very careful we need to be be aware of those things I also had experience recently and one of prophet he called me and he told me sister Shmaila I see that God is using you mightily you got great calling over your life but if you do two things you will become more famous I said what do you want me to do so he said first make me your prophet and call me your papa and the second thing put honey on your face seven times and people um, people will follow you because because you will glow you will become sweet so you, people will become attractive to you you you're gonna have a lot of followers so in my heart I just said oh get behind me Satan but I didn't tell him in front of his face but I told him listen my brother 
with all due respect i don't want to um i don't want to um be rude with you but with all due respect i want to tell you i don't care about the numbers i don't care about who is following me or not but the word of god say for me it is important to follow jesus christ it is important it's not about my glory it's about my god glory it's about my god it's nothing about me because i am just a vessel and the word of god say follow me and i will make you fishers of men he said i will make you fishers of men i don't i told him i don't want to i don't want i don't need to follow you i don't need your teachings what you trying to say me i don't need your honey to put on my face because my god says that i need to follow him i need to follow him and he deserve all the glory he deserve all the honor and i told him with all due respect i can't call you papa because i already have a papa hallelujah my dear brother and sister i want you to be careful i want to be careful because enemy is want you to hear his voice because he want to destroy you he want to kill you he want to steal from you in john 10:10 10, 10 is written the enemy comes only to steal to kill and destroy i came that they may have life and life in abundance hallelujah enemy wants to steal your joy he wants to kill the peace he wants to destroy your relationship with your family he wants to destroy the families and i want you to be aware because nowadays on facebook we see the people say oh everybody is saying like i got the prophetic calling and i can hear 24 hours god voice let me clarify one thing here we see in the bible the prophets that that are our role models they also made mistakes they also did wrong because god was not speaking to the to them 24 hours god was not speaking to them 24 hours even the adam when god used to have specific time to speak to him we are all not perfect we are human being we can make mistakes and the word of god say all have sinned nobody is perfect and if somebody is saying that i am 24 hours that for a prophet is saying i can tell you your life story 24 hours what you're doing i know what time you go in the toilet i know about this thing i know about that thing let me tell you just be careful because that is not what god wants you to hear Maybe that prophet even don't know about his life 24 hour but how come he can tell you about your life hallelujah just be careful who you listening just be careful just recognize the voice of the enemy and god and sometimes it gets so hard because we are broken we get hurt we 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 get discouraged but I want to tell you some prophets they said we want the glory I'm not saying don't take me wrong I'm not saying don't respect the servant of God you can respect and honor the servant of God but glory deserve to only God hallelujah hallelujah we are worshiped today only one name is only num one name only one name deserve all the glory all the honor and his name is Jesus hallelujah you can respect and honor the servant of god but you can't give them glory always remember that and i want to tell you today you need to decide whose voice you are listening you need to be careful because enemy is waiting 
He wants to speak to you, to, to discourage you. I want you to shut those voices that are telling you that you are not enough. You will not make it. I want you to shut those voices who's telling you that you are not good enough. I want to shut those voices who are telling you you will be a failure. You will fail. Shut those voices that are telling you that you are not good enough. That you are not good in, uh, looking good enough. Shut those voices that are putting the hat in your heart. That are trying to bring the division in your family, in you. Shut those voices shut those voices that tell you that you are not able to do that shut those voices that tell you that you will never get up shut those voices that telling you you are unstable shut those voices that that telling you this is not your season Shut those voices that are telling you you are not called for that. Shut those voices that teach you to be disrespectful to the parents. Shut those voices that are telling you you do this and you do that. Then you will get this and you will get that. Don't be trapped by the enemy voice. Don't be discouraged. Don't be feel don't feel neglected. Don't be disheartened. You may feel like you are about to fail, but be encouraged. Bring to God. Don't be discouraged. Shut those voices. Pay pay attention to the voice of God. What God is saying to you. And he's saying to you, you are more than enough. God says to you, you are able. God says to you that you are more than conqueror. You are stable. You are loved. God is saying to you that you are a winner, not a loser. You are going to make it. You're going to have it. God is saying to you. You are made on the image of God. Remember that. You are blessed. You deserve the best. And remember that the most important thing. That you are the child of God. You are the child of the most high God. Say by faith. Nothing is impossible with my God. I can see the victory. God is fighting for me. God is busy doing great things in my life. Say by faith. Surrender everything in God's hand because he cares for you. He loves you more than you can even imagine or think about it. He cares for you. He is with you. You are not alone. Remember that always. Remember that always. Shut those voices who say it's not gonna happen. Stop running behind that God. I will say it's going to happen. Keep running. Keep walking. Keep pressing. Keep fighting the good fight of, of your faith. Hallelujah. I want you to be encouraged today. My God will. My God will see you through. Hallelujah. He gonna see you through. Hey, he comes to rescue you. As a matter of fact, he is coming to rescue you. God will see you through. My God will see you through. He's never let you down before. Not even for a day. So why would he start now? Oh, the word of God say that my God is same as yesterday. My God will be the same today and he will be the same tomorrow and tomorrow. So trust him. Hallelujah. Shut up, Baba. You will never be the same. Jesus can make a way. Anytime, any day, all you got to do is ask him and say, God, I need you right now in my situation. Pray Jesus can make a way anytime, any day. Just leave it at the altar anytime. Leave it at his feet any day. Dust yourself off because you are the child of the most high God. Say God will see you through. My God will see you through. 
He see you praising through your strum. He sees you praising through struggle. He sees your tears. He sees your pains. Remember that my God will see you through. And if that voice is telling you, they're trying to put something in your heart and discouraging you, I want to encourage you, shut those voices. Because God loves you. God cares for you. He has amazing plans for your life. And as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. If somebody is telling you about your family, you say, my family and me, we will serve the Lord. Just believe that. Shut those voices that are trying to kill you from inside. Shut those voices that are making you wounded and broken. Shut those voices that are making you to go in depression and anxiety. Shut those voices because God cares for you. Remember that. He loves you. He loves you and his love is unconditional. His love is amazing. You just all need to do to surrender your life to him. Surrender to God. Surrender it all to God and he will do his best to do for you. Believe that. Believe that. That nothing, nothing is impossible with your God. I'm going to pray for you. Let's close our eyes. Father God, I just come in your presence. Whoever is watching right now, Father God, you know about Father their needs, you know their struggle, you know their circumstance, oh God, you know their sickness, oh God. You are the great healer and nothing is impossible with you. Our Father, we come before you in your presence, oh God, and we gave, we say, Father God, open the floodgates of heaven oh god we need you god than ever before we want you than ever before oh god i pray father god may people seek you your kingdom your righteousness your face your presence of god lord please help us that we can hear the voice of god your voice oh god and we mustn't be trapped by the enemy wise, oh God. We just surrender our lives to you. We want to give you glory. We want to give you honor, oh God. Bless those people who are watching right now, Father God. I speak the blessing over them abundantly, mightily, and richly in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. And I just want to tell you that he cares for you. He loves you. God bless you.